cold frame update. It's sprouting guys. I am so excited today. It is sprouting. The weather over the last few days has not been too bad. So it's sprouting and I'm so excited after all the hassle of the rodents and the slugs, which I'm still dealing with, but it's definitely less and less each time I check on these. Now I also had a thought while I was editing another video, I have kale still growing in the garden. So that's going to die if it gets more exposure to the frost oh, in, in the next few frosts or snow that we're going to get. So what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to dig those out from the garden. I'll take you along for that adventure and transplant them in the, into these cold frames. We'll see you too if that's the issue. A more hardy plant, is it going to produce very good in these cold frames? I hope it will. So let's uh, go along and uh, see what today brings. Again, it was, if you've been following along on this cold frame experiment, it's been a struggle. But hey, signs of success. Sometimes patience and uh, the pursuit of growing greens pays off. So I'll take you along. We'll go back to the garden, uh, dig up or pull up those kale plants that are there. Try to do it as gently as possible so I don't hurt the roots so they'll transplant easily. Uh, plant them in here and we'll see what happens with that. I'm so excited. They're sprouting. There's lots of sprouts in these. I'm going to close them up though. Um, I just let the air circulate for a minute here while I was filming, but it's a little cold and windy today to have them open, especially with the tender new sprouts. It's a little cold still with the tender new sprouts in there, so I'm going to close these up again. I just wanted a good air circulation to air them out and help with the airflow. So let's see what happens from, from here. Whew, it's a windy day today, so I apologize if you're having a hard time hearing me. Uh, I want to show you the six kale plants-ish that I have growing here still in my garden producing greens. They are getting frostbitten pretty good though on the greens, so I'm hoping if I pull them, they're a nice hardy plant and transplant them into the cold frame, maybe that'll help. Let's see. Let, let me show you. So it looks a little sad here in the garden, but we're going to see. Okay, so bear with me on this one. So one, you see there's still new growth in the middle. It's a little hard to see. Two, three, oh, there's a Swiss chard right here too. I might try to dig up and see if we can survive that. Oh, and there's four over here. I'm loving the way the cold is changing the leaves of the purple. So one, two, green one, and a green one. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those up and uh, take them over to the cold frame. Let's see if we tug on one how bad it is. Let's try this one. Oh, came up nice. Oh, that's easy. All right, I'll go ahead and pull the rest of these out. Oh, oh these two are attached. Trying to be gentle. Perfect. All right, I'll put you back on the video camera so I don't hold you. Pull these up, take you back to the cold frame and plant them in. roots off pretty good uh, and uh, dip them in some water uh, before I put them in there. Let's see about this Swiss chard. Yep, nice root on that Swiss chard too. I'm gonna, just going to pick it right down to everything, right down to the middle. There's a baby one there. There, there's two baby ones coming. Let's have a look to see if there's any more greens in here before uh, we go back to the uh, cold frames.
right, that's all we got for today to try to save from this garden and uh, see how it does over the winter. So back to the cold frame to go to plant those in. Fingers crossed it works very good. Gonna go first take these in the house and uh, clean off the roots um, so that they're nice and healthy and we don't push any germs over onto the cold frame. That shouldn't be an issue because the dirt in there is from these anyway. I just want to clean up those roots, make sure there's no bugs or anything before I put them in the cold frame. So I'll be right back with you guys. All right, changed my mind about going in the house. This rain barrel's still good. So I'm just going to rinse the roots in the rain barrel and then take them over through the cold frame. What I'm looking for is any disease. Anytime you look at a plant, you go to transplant anything. You want to make sure there's no like bugs on the roots or stem or anything like that. So these all look really good. So. All right. All looking good so far. Oh wow, look at that root system. And that stem on this purple kale, it's nice and healthy. Uh, so this is why you inspect. This one's mushy. This one's really mushy all the way up here so nope no go on this one we'll just leave it here so it can decompose on the ground it won't hurt anything wonder wonder if i can separate these two if not i'll put them together like that Nice, nice, healthy on both of these. Sweet, and they got separated. All right, last one. I'm going to take off the leaves that are growing. They're a little frostbitten, but there's new growth in the middle. This one's ever so slightly mushy at the top, but I'm going to leave it. We'll, we'll uh, put this one separate from the other so we, we know which one it is, just in case it dies off first. But the roots look nice and healthy and there's new growth in the middle so it can't be that bad it's not nearly as soft as that other one so we're going to give this one a try now this little swiss chard root i hope it goes i really like swiss chard the color everything so i'm going to rinse it off and then we'll go plant all right let's go put these in the cold frame all right, I got the kale all rinsed and we're going to find some spots to put it in here. I'm going to try to um, keep that one that was a little bit soft separate. I'm going to put that little Swiss chard piece in the straw bale because uh, I still saw evidence of most today in the wooden one. Still no evidence of most here in this one. Maybe they're just squeaking between the tolls. I don't know, but nothing chewed, no marks, no nothing like that. So let's plant these together. I'll put you on time lapse for that because it's just me reaching in. You really won't see much from where you are. And then I'll zoom in and show you after. And that'll be that for today on these ones. we go. I'll zoom in first and show you what I did here and what's coming. 
Awesome guys, I'm so happy about this. It's showing some signs of progress. Progress. Let's keep it going and see what happens. Now why am I so stuck on growing greens? Well, for the cost. The cost of greens is ridiculous these days. A little box of greens around here in uh, New Brunswick, Canada is like six bucks. And when you have animals that rely on greens, like the chickens and especially the rabbit and us, right? Greens is a big chunk of our diet. So if I can grow it, as opposed to buying it at the grocery store, I'll do that. It's generally a lot fresher and lasts longer. Plus, I go through a lot. The rabbit twice a day gets the greens and the chicken. Once in a while, I'll throw them a handful. I'll try to give them a handful every day, but it doesn't always happen. At least try to give them other vegetables, fruit and vegetables as well. Because fruit and vegetables, along with their everyday food with the chickens, really helps their health. Anyway, I am cold. So, so I'm going to shut these, because if I'm cold, these little sprouts are cold. So time to shut these and then uh, go from there. Now, <laughs> I do find it hilarious though, that this bale of straw is sprouting. The straw is sprouting, but I can't sprout anything in the ground. Weird. Whatever. <laughs> it must have been exposed to something that, or has extra seeds in that straw, that makes it want to sprout. Weird. Whatever. Go with it. <laughs> anyway, let's zoom you in and go from there. This camera is not great with zoom, but I'll do my best. So first of all, the kale plant that I planted and a bunch of sprouts coming right here. They're still little, but they're coming. Another kale plant that I planted. So again, that's the beer trap. So I'm still going with those because I'm still getting some slugs. Now this aisle is doing the best. And another kale that I just planted. And another kale. Yeah, so the beer traps, I'm still getting slugs, so I'm still going with those. And there's a little Swiss chard right beside, a little hard to see, right beside that uh, yellow cup. All right, let's go to the water one and then shut these down. So there's kale. There's one in the front and one in the back. Oh look, and a slug, yep. Yep. And one right here. And a whole bunch of sprouts coming. Whole bunch. And then of course the um, radish. And the Swiss chard over here, still doing good. All right, everybody. Thanks for following along with my cold frames. I'm happy, there's success today. Let's see what the next update is. I did tell you I was only going to update you if there was progress and success, and there is. Man, guys, I hope you're just as excited for me as I am on this pursuit of these cold frames. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Now that I put those hardier kale plants in there, I'm definitely interested. I'll let you know if those die or if they take off or if it's a 50-50 or whatever. Now I did, in digging up some of the kale plant, like a little spot to put the kale plants, especially in this one, especially in the straw bale, there's a lot of sprouts still under the dirt looking to come. So I try not to disturb those planting that, but I accidentally did a few. But it's awesome, there's still sprouts coming, so let's see. Anyway, yeah, this is the straw bale that's sprouting. It's hilarious. But grass is generally easy to go, grow. Anyway. Shutting these off, going in. It is windy.
it's windy up here so that's just extra protection to keep this down so it doesn't flop open when I'm not necessarily watching it it works I'm so happy today so thanks for following today guys I am so happy that that cold frame is starting to show pro some progress and success and we'll see what happens from here it's still not a hundred percent foolproof and there is still a lot of winter to come so we'll see how they do over the next little bit when the weather changes so thank you so much for watching please like comment and follow along on any one of our videos especially this one please smile comment below and keep encouraging me to trial and error on this this cold frame it's really, it's really been a big struggle, everybody. So I am beyond happy today. <laughs> if you have a cold frame, again, I'm still looking for tips and tricks. So if you have a cold frame, let me know what you do, whether you just transplant like what I just did with the kale, transplant it, your hardier plants into the cold frame. I think that might be the issue why I was having so much. So we'll stay tuned, learn from this, keep learning from what we're doing. Thanks for watching.